Halo Infinite is finally getting a career rank progression system similar to prior games, and this will be arriving in Season 4. 343 have just released a blog post regarding how the progression system will work and the things you can expect, so today, that's what we're going to be talking about. Anyway, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. Also, make sure to check out the Discord, I'll leave a link to that in the pinned comment. Anyway, without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight in. Starting things off, the career ranks flow from Cadet to General with each tier, and there is several tiers. We have Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, and Onyx each one having 15 tiers each. They also went on a little bit on how your rank will be presented in-game, like when you start a match during the match intro, it'll show your nameplate and your name, and at the end of that you will also see your career rank. It also mentions that every individual player's profile will display their career rank. When you inspect the player in the post-game thing, it'll show the career rank, and in general, you will see your rank in most places. And there was also a few additional questions that they did answer, like are career rank levels gated by a CSR skill rank, similar to Halo 3, and no, they won't be. It also mentions that this will not tie to your previous game history, so all your XP that you've built up from your prior battle passes will not add on to the progression system, but I understand this, I think it makes sense to be fair, and it means every player will instantly start off on the same level, which I think is a good thing. They have confirmed you won't be able to rank up in custom games, Forge or Academy. Again, this is unsurprising. However, what is disappointing is double XP boosts do not go towards your career rank progression. They only apply to your battle pass. The biggest wounder here is the next question, which answers whether or not you will earn cosmetic content from leveling up in your career rank. And although, yes, technically you do, it sounds like it will just be emblems. You get nameplates, armor emblems, weapon emblems, vehicle emblems that you can sport on your spawn and gear in-game, but it is just emblems, which I think is massively disappointing. Really, I think there should be a, at least a coating corresponding to each tier. Not every rank, but every time you reach a new tier, there should be a coating to correspond to that. It doesn't even nef necessarily have to be an armor coating, but I feel like there should be weapon coatings or vehicle coatings or something corresponding to those. I was also really hoping some of the currently unreleased cosmetics like some of the shoulder pads for the Mark V-B or Yoroi or Rikshase would be included in the, in the progression system, but this isn't the case. And honestly, without any cosmetic content, I don't really care for the progression system all that much as I won't really feel like I'm earning anything from it. That's just me personally though, and I know a lot of people will be pretty satisfied with the number and the rank going up as you feel like it's an achievement in its own right, but without any cosmetics tied to it, honestly, I'm really disappointed there. I didn't expect any armor, although I hoped for it, but I did expect some kind of, like, coatings and stuff like that, as I feel like that would make sense. It would have been great to have one corresponding to each tier, like you get a bronze armor coating in bronze rank, you get a silver one, you get a gold one, etc, etc. And they also mentioned that no, career rank is not tied to the battle pass, it will not impact matchmaking in any way, and no, it will not reset every season, although, again, these are to be expected. I am glad we're finally getting a progression system. I think that's good for like long-term enjoyment of the game as it always gives you something to achieve, but without any real rewards tied to it, honestly, I'm really disappointed. I don't see the point in staying on the game grinding a progression system if I don't really earn anything from it. And quite frankly, I don't think emblems alone are enough. But anyway, let me know what you all think down in the comments. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.